All right, I'm gonna walk you through how this Mober DC power unit works. I've got my LP12 in a jig. I've got this on a stack of books so you can see the two at the same time. I've got things underexposed so you can actually read the screen. All right, so I'll turn it on. There's the Mober Speed welcome screen. All right, so to actually start it, you press the well, 33 or 45, whichever one you wanna do. So I'm gonna do 33. I've put a piece of tape on my platter, so you should hopefully be able to see. There it is. See things actually spinning around. So it's reading the speed from the tachymeter or tachometer or whatever it's called underneath the platter. So 33.4, 33.4. Okay, so it really does not take that long to get up to speed. When you want to stop it, you press the button again, and then it reads RPM zero, and it slows down. So if I wanted to put it up to 45, I would press the 45 button at this point. It's kind of a sticky pot, sometimes you have to press it twice. So now it's going up, overshot, slowing down, so it's getting real-time feedback from the 12 or 16 position marker underneath the platter and adjusting so there it is at 45.0 settling in all right so this screen it's not particularly bright anyway but it does turn off after it's been playing a little while so i'm going to give it time to do that now once it's locked in um, and to say that it is very silent. So right now I'm gonna put my hand on the motor. I'm touching it right now. I can absolutely not feel anything. You can hear a little bit of, of noise when it's playing. And like when I have my lid on and put my ear onto it, I can hear noise, but it's totally just the noise of a belt going around a pulley. It's not coming from the motor at all. It's that quiet. All right, you can see the screen turned off. So if you want to then see what the speed is, you press the opposite buttons. I've got on 45, you press 33, and it'll give you a look at where things are right now. There it is, getting its reading. You can adjust the speed if you want to. I'm really, again, not totally sure why you would want to do that, but you can um, say like add 0.1 and then it will adjust to 45.1 instead of 45.0. I'm gonna put it back down to where it's supposed to be. So to turn this off, you press it until it says RPM zero. And then if I wanted to put it back on 33, I would press it until it says 33.3. There it is slowing down to adjust. Getting a lock. And then once you are ready to stop, you just turn it off and off it goes.